you're looking at space history in the making. This rocket is the first of its kind, simplifying what normally takes two years or more to build. Introducing additive manufacturing and 3D printing as the technology that we're looking to go for for the future. That's right, a 3D printed rocket. The company behind it all, Relativity Space, is based out of California. This is the rocket behind me standing about 110 feet tall, and the company tells me it's roughly 85% 3D printed. Here's how their Terran 1 3D printed rocket stacks up to a traditional spacecraft. A traditional rocket has a 100,000 plus part count, 24 month build time, and a complex supply chain. Now compare that to a 3D printed rocket. Less than a thousand part count, two month build time, and a simple supply chain. The director says there is one disadvantage. A traditional rocket is tried and tested for years, but a 3D printed rocket will have trial and error. You know, it's great. All technology changes so fast and the applications can be endless. So we're just looking at how we can adapt this technology and the desire and passion with the upcoming science, technology, engineering, and math or STEM programs that are out there and really drive the enthusiasm into the workforce. Right now, the company is in its final phase of testing and checkouts before they get the green light from the FAA and the space force to launch at launch complex 16. How do you feel standing looking at that rocket vertical now? Uh, it's taken a while to get here. A lot of people across the company, a lot of contract support and government support to get to this point and it's super exciting. The energy here that you feel today, the last few days is incredible. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News. That is so interesting. Well, future plans are to build a larger rocket that will be up to 95% 3D printed. And we're still waiting on an exact launch date for that first mission.